Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an illumined Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? Today I want to talk to you about some of the uh, events that have occurred over the past uh, two to three years, even up to four years, and how things are going to be coming to a closure now. Um, we're finally getting ready to bring some finality to things and for a lot of people this time period from February in through April you might feel like your foundation is shaking but I want to let you know something this is uh, something that we have long planned for this is something that is going to make people's wishes really come true so what I'm calling, what I'm talking about in this video is your determined transition, finally. And a lot of people have been very determined about their twin flame union, even when you haven't known what to do, taking things as they come on a day-by-day -day basis, and that's actually what you should be doing. I have quite a bit to talk about, so I want, I'm just going to kind of plunge right in here. I want to first thank everyone for watching me, who watches me. I want to also say thank you to everyone who subscribed. Subscribe if you like, because I'm still going to have more here to talk about that's going to help you get clarity on, you know, what is happening. And we're having uh, several things that are happening here. There's been a separation in worlds. There's a separation mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and that's on purpose. And it's for good reason, because a lot of you are about to come into your physical union. That's not to say that people have not been in their union and living together. You are actually in eternal union with your twin flame. I'm talking about the physical living arrangement with each other, being with each other, seeing each other, getting reacquainted with each other. So I want to encourage you, continue elevating yourself. And there's something I want to let you know about this. Those of you who have been elevating, you're probably elevating up and coming down and in and elevating up and out and in. And that can make you feel very up and down, up and down. You'll feel the emotions of it. You'll feel things when you um, have to go through adjustments. You may feel dizzy. You may feel like things here just don't click with you anymore. And pay very close attention to your dreams because it's, especially if you've been very proactive and there is a bunch of people who have been very proactive in terms of clearing out your vision, clearing out your third eye, clearing out your sexual areas, and especially clearing your heart out. And that's continuing. And if you are Blu-ray, you know what I'm talking about. So continue doing what you have to do to keep yourself up, light. That means keep your vibration up and keep your channels open. If you're living or working in a karmic situation, you're going to find this to be very challenging because you're going to have to continually um, feel like yourself squeezed. You've expanded. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You've already expanded. When you go out, you are expanding. Now, some of you have no recollection of this, and that's okay. It's going to continue happening for you. Do not doubt the things that you know. The things that you know in your heart are true and your actual experiences, do not doubt them. Okay? Don't doubt yourself. The ones who have been working hard, and this is particularly a lot of the people of the Blue Ray, especially the Rod and Staff Unions, the ones who have been working hard can rest and expect their twin. Now some of you have met that person isn't awake fully yet or doesn't get it. You've been wondering about that. They seem to be very busy in 3D and I'm going to talk about that. 
Um, those people who are of the blue who identify as blue, red, green, pink, purple, golden from the new earth, and also some orange Illumin Seraphim and gold Illumins. And the people of the blue are the ones with the connections all the way back. Most of them, because they are illumined, have had a foothold or somehow touched down everywhere or a combination of between them and their twin, they have these connections. It's been prototyped, it's been templated, it's been rewoven, reset, renewed, restored, and it is going to be bringing us back to a time. And I got a song today. Um, that song was, I wish that we could per turn back time to the good old days when the mama sang us to sleep when we were stressed out. And the song is about pretending. It's about when you're a little kid and then you have to wake up. And there's been a lot of information this year and actually at the end of last year about people waking up. And the awakenings are going to continue happening. People who have considered themselves to be awake and enlightened, get ready for more because you've only hit the tip of the iceberg. And that's a good thing. That's going to be a fun thing. So thank you to everyone who has been working hard doing whatever you do. And just to give you a brief overview of uh, what is that, the part of the reason I know this is my very active and proactive participation. It's been in doing the grid work in and around my city in the metro area. It has been with prototyping the body and then bringing that to schools, the senior center, to hospitals. I've been laying out the groundwork for what I don't know exactly everything, but what it feels like is the proper templating so that others can receive. We've been giving gifts to our friends and family. I wrote about that back in 2013. I called it the giving of gifts. A lot of you Blu-rays, you've been the stabilizing force around your family. Some of you have been actually forced back to be with your family. But there's a purpose behind that. There's a purpose under it, and there's an overlighting purpose to it. And it is so that everyone can adjust to each other, so that people properly get the gifts that we actually set out to give them. Some people haven't properly received it. We've had to somehow ensure that so that nothing tumbles down when the twin flames come together. And that is a big part of the reason of what seems to be very baffling to the human mind. So just to give you an overview of what my nights are like, and it's been this way for years, I wake up two or three times a night. It's, that's my new normal. That's been my normal for several years. When I wake up, my consciousness is required to be fully awake and aware so that I can anchor here whatever I've been doing when I've been uh, in an elevated state. And I really don't mind if people don't understand it because I do know that some of us have different tasks in all of this preparation. There has been a lot of orchestration and preparatory work going into what is about to happen, and it's really big. There are going to be changes, massive changes. There's been a necessity to keep even the ground stable. Even in uh, areas like around the Pacific Rim, the Ring of Fire, in areas that are earthquake zones, there are pockets of twin flames that keep the stability and hold things. I'm going to talk about that more as we go on down the line here. So those who have done a lot of hard work, and some of you have been holding something for 30, 40 years, and you know it, and it's time to hand it over. It's time. To, it's your time. It is your time. Some of you have been uh, transmuters. You've been getting rid of really dense level energy. Some of you have been anchoring energies here. And it's been important. 
Many people are not giving themselves proper credit for being the true angelic that you are. If you are a twin flame, if you are a true twin flame, that is the type of being that you are. You are an angelic capable of holding a huge capacity of love, double, because you're so fun they poured you into two bodies here. And just guess what happens when all of those God particles get together? There is a party. <laughs> There's a celebration, and there will be cause for celebration. So while humans might seem to not care or even uh, disregard who you are or even, you know, be dismissive, the entire universe is really looking forward to who you are and what you're capable of doing. Your capabilities are in the inside. They're not in this human flesh. They're contained in this human flesh like a, a tank that drives around for protection. All the good stuff's on the inside. And there is some on the outside that you're going to find out about. So I want to encourage everyone, everybody, if you have relegated your twin flame union to a small, small little patch of the etheric through text, email, or even where there's no response whatsoever, I want you to work on getting yourself reconnected. I myself offer a heart, cosmic heart reconnection session to help people do that, where it actually does reconnect you. And that is no joke. That is a new session that I do. But if you already know your twin, if you have a way to make contact, if you have their address, phone number, and I'm not saying to you to put yourself at risk of being arrested or having a restraining order slapped against you. There is an appropriate way to do something. But you're not expecting rejection and you're not expecting to get arrested or meanness or discomfort. There is a way to go about things where you use your higher energies to open the door and have that person feel you with your heart. So whether your contact is on the inside or on the outside, use your voice. It carries the vibration of your soul. Contact your twin in any way possible, whether you send them something, mail something. You simply want your God particles to somehow touch their God particles as directly as possible. And yeah, I'm going out on a limb here and saying it because a lot of people have taken that retreat in several ways. They've retreated into old situations. They've gotten afraid of each other. You're not here to crash and burn. You're here to elevate and fly. No more crashing and burning. And you are the one taking action for reunion. The guides, the angels, the readers, the psychics, the sessions, the healing sessions, the Reiki, every modality that you may use pales in comparison by actually finally being able to connect with your twin. I do understand there are people who have no idea how that is going to be possible. Some of you are saying my twin is dead, and yes, there are people whose twins who have died or committed suicide. You ask your higher self to let you know when and how and where can I make this connection. Be willing, be open. I'm not in charge of your timing. You're in charge of some of your timing. A lot of this is an orchestration, so you're fitting yourself in here where you belong. You're the only one with that eternal heart connection. I've said it again and again and again and again. Ad nauseum, yes. And I will say it again. You are here to do this. You're not here to just simply have a lovely 3D time. And if you are telling yourself or other people or being told, well, it's not for this lifetime. That's a bunch of baloney. I'm going to tell you that right now. That is baloney. There is a heck of a lot of work going on behind the scenes. Ask any Blu-ray. Ask me. I've been talking about it and talking about it. And if you talk yourself out of it, that's on you. But I am here to say to you, it's intended for this lifetime. 
It is. So if you want to come back for another karmic life, that's a choice. That's a choice. But you see what's going on here. You see it every day on the news. You see it happening in any kind of neighborhood. Rich, poor, a lot more things happen in poor, economically stressed areas. That's the truth of it. But stuff happens everywhere, in the high places and the low places. And I'm going to go now and talk about, you know, what are we doing here? So going back to August of 2013, I'm going to bring you back to then. And 2012 was the time when we expected to be doing uh, the coming together and the ascension. It was apparent that that wasn't going to work. There was a lot of people afraid and afraid with valid reasons. So um, we segue from 2012. There were a lot of twin flames who initially met each other then, had a lot of things come together. And that was actually an open portal, but it kind of went wah, wah, wah. That's not that some people didn't ascend. They did. But we get into the August 2013 Lions Gate. That was the Lions Gate period. And yes, it's an open gate. It's for an influx of energies. That's what the gate means. That's what the portal means. It's an influx of energies. It's the way that I perceive it. It's like the aperture on a camera or an, some kind of an opening. It opens like this. And you get flooded in, things come flooding in, pushes other things out, it tumbles some things about, it moves and shakes things. Yes, it does. And what over the last two years, the higher masculine has been what has been coming in. And now is becoming fully present in the counterparts and is awakening within the counterpart. So masculine can mean men. It can mean gay men, straight men. It can mean females, too, that hold primarily the masculine energy because that happens. You can look at a couple, a man and a woman, and sometimes there's a role reversal on the inside. That happens. And it happens for the reasons that they need it to in their union. So now the Divine Masculine can consciously join with the Divine Feminine. But going back to 2013, not a lot of people were aware of it or exactly why it was happening. And a lot of uh, feminine energy people were simply trying to cope with their own healings, transmuting stuff, getting things set up, um, healing old wounds, abuses, things wrong with the body, you know, getting everything ready and getting pushed hard to do it. So any, I can say right now, anything karmic that you've participated in over the past two years is being quickly uprooted and released so you can be in the higher love of your twin flame union. But your full surrender is required. And that means, some of that surrender means, I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to trust that whatever it is, it is the highest and it's for everyone's highest good. It takes trust and faith. We transition from August of 2013 and transition into October 2013. This was the time for people to start declaring who they were and declaring their sovereignty, meaning that they were ready to start stepping forward and claiming the love that they need in order to get things done, get themselves healed. Now, you could call it claiming your power, but I don't like to use the word power because it connotes having power over people or something that's overwhelming. The love is actually sweet. Sometimes it can be powerful. Sometimes it's very sweet and delicate and permeating and fragrant, like a fragrance coming in. And this has happened in both soft, elegant ways that just float in and it's happened in very powerful strong ways even the feminine can be powerful and strong the divine feminine is powerful and strong and delicate and the divine masculine has a softness and a strength and as we get into august of 2014 this is what's been happening so August 2013, this was the open portal of the new earth energies. 
okay? That is what everyone was beginning to feel. A lot of people were talking about it, becoming aware of it, becoming aware of, hey, I'm multidimensional, or even saying things like, I'm a spirit having a human experience, not a human having a spiritual experience. They were feeling parts of themselves that were very feeling new and welcome, and yet very maybe um, confusing for some people. So this influx of the new energies, we're moving here from the old galactic center, which was located in the Pleiades, and the uh, son of Alcyone, okay? A lot of people who have a Palladian awareness or consciousness will recognize this name. The old center of the fifth dimension and the galactic center, everything is starting to move to the new earth and to get everyone acclimated. That time period was August 2013, 2013 where everything was starting to flood in. It was really felt in October 2014 because in order to hold that higher vibration, you needed to let go of some stuff. And that was a challenge for a lot of people. They were feeling very upset, pressured. That's sometimes how this works, is that there is a pressure to get out of old situations, leave it. Um, say goodbye to it, properly conclude it, be appropriate where you say thank you, thank you for all the lessons here, it's been great but I have to go and some people did, some people didn't. But as of the close of this first gate, you um, had all of the things that might have happened during this time. If you met or married another person, if, if you remained married, if your um, counterpart did, or new babies being born, those are going to be karmic situations if you didn't get out of them, if you re-upped, if you re-engaged in an old thing. And we get into 2014 here. Now, 2014, this was for the higher consciousness pouring in through the heads and down and into the hearts and pushing out everything that is unusable. And this was another big portal which carried over into last year, July, August of 2015. Now what this was, this is energies from Sirius and the energies from the Pallades. So these are two consciousnesses. Sirius is very masculine, Pallades very feminine, but not exclusively feminine or exclusively masculine. So you have what has been happening here, higher soul healing, a higher healing of the soul. Okay, so you have higher soul healing and this is happening off planet, not all here in a living situation to an unawakened person. It has been higher soul healing while the person is in a sleeper state. So I have a little depiction here for you. And I want to... I want to uh, bring this around to something, a reason why. Now, I've known this for quite some time. I have known that uh, there's some really deep wounding and psyche damage. And there's people that I read for where they say, no matter what I do, my twin, there's something there and they're just going about their 3D life like everything's normal and I'm really starting to be upset about this and I don't blame them. But what you essentially have is um, groups of people that have been deeply wounded because your essence is your, your light body is connected to your essence. And some of the wounds have affected you 
in ways that you're completely unaware of and unable to take care of from an earthly level. So in the human way, a lot of those people, a lot of the lovely twin flame counterparts have done everything that they can possibly do and then some. You've really gone above and beyond and I applaud you. Let me take this down so it's not confusing. Okay. All right. So I don't watch a lot of TV, but I happened to see something a few weeks ago on this one channel we have that shows old B-horror movies. And this was a really old movie from 1932, The Island of Lost Souls with Charles Lawton. I didn't even watch the whole movie, but the very beginning, there is a scene where there's these ships that have come in from Africa, and they've got and I kid you not, this is Hollywood back in the 30s. They've got crate after crate of lions in a crate. And there's guys with whips and prods, and these lions are snarling. And they actually filmed this and put it into part of the uh, film. And the other parts of the movie are, yes, that this character played by Charles Lawton, he messes with people big time. He does experiments, he tries to hybrid things, and it's just a hot mess. And the um, people that he's worked on, they're wounded. I mean, they've, they've actually got problems. They've got physical problems. And, you know, everything that's been hacked on them is just bad news. But how have some of these other wounds happened? Um, what struck me about the lions that were being poked and prodded, I had this flash that said to me, this is exactly what has happened with a lot of the wounded angels. They've somehow been, uh, things have happened to them. And then they've been abused on top of what has happened to them. And if you have someone that has those types of wounds, if you take an abused animal, you cannot expect them to be normal right away. What do you do with them? And they will feel distrusting. They'll feel tormented, fearful. They'll be hating. They will be irritable, angry. They will be uncommunicative. They will feel trapped and confined. They will be in pain. And that's the emotional and spiritual pain that a lot of people feel and a lot of people self-medicate over. They'll feel sad and they'll feel in despair. And they'll cover it up with meanness and snarling. <clears throat> you know, they will do what they can to self-protect. They self-medic. Now, when it's a person, wounded animals are not unlike, uh, wounded angels are not unlike wounded animals. But angels and angelics and especially twin flames are of a higher consciousness. And we are of a higher consciousness and we help each other. And we could ask ourselves, what actually wounds you? What old relationship patterns in karma have wounded you? And a lot of people are done with the karma. A lot of Blu-rays are done and you're, you know, there. Some of you, your karma is living amongst you. You're living with your karma. It could be your kids. It could be your parents. It could be a spouse. And if you're living in these patterns, they'll keep repeating themselves while you're staying. They just will. Stop wondering about it. It's just going to, why do things happen? It's just going to. But the wounds do not happen from love. Love is what heals this. Real love heals everything. And if you try to consult in a mental way or analyze it, Try to figure it out. You're doing your soul a disservice. You must begin to do everything as though you do have a soul that cares very deeply for you. Your higher self does. Do not focus on others that cannot do the proper healing for you. Get out of situations that are truly a disservice to your own soul. You may not be understanding exactly what it is, but you'll feel it. And your twin will feel it. And sometimes when they've needed to or they've felt trapped, they don't know what to do. They will retreat. 
The answer is not abandoning them. You may have to physically leave them alone. But I'm telling you, it's coming a time now to reach out to them again, expecting that wounds are healed. The ego will give you the wrong solutions. Other people's heads will give you the wrong solutions. What is the solution? It is in your heart. It is with the high heart intelligence and through divine love. So when you have had people, I've used this prop before. This is the military guy. Okay, he's one of the characters from Star Wars, by the way. And he has been in so many battles and he is disconnected from his heart because in order to do the terrible things that his commanders have asked him to do or to go to places or leave, and he's been told this is the way it is. That's what you do. That's what we do. That's how we resolve things. The ego is going to tell you, we attack. We are attacking at dawn. He's got wounds all over him. It's not just the body. It's body, spirit, emotional, mental, and psyche. What we've had to do, where I'm talking about off-planet, is gather them spiritually and cocoon them. Get them back. Bring them back in and revive them as best as possible. How do you revive an ascended being? You don't revive them in a 3D environment. You revive them when you're in an ascended, elevated environment and state of being. So what may have appeared to fall down or still be living in 3D is asleep. Many of the counterparts are still asleep. And they will begin awakening further. If your twin doesn't seem to understand or get it or know it, it doesn't matter if they know all the technical words. I don't even have words for some of my experiences. Don't get on them about it. Don't wait for the perfect words. What you want is them. You want their heart. You want them healed and whole. And while I'm using a man as a, an example, this kind of wounding also happens to a lot of women. If they've been uh, somehow, I'm, I'm just going to say abuse. I don't need to go into all the ways that we've been abused. Because some of the other planetary ways or cosmic galactic experiences that we've had that have hurt us and wounded us, they repeat here on Earth, but Earth is sometimes a diminished version of what's actually occurred. And women, too, have their own wounds and healing that they've had to be cocooned for. They've sometimes numbed out. Everyone's numbed out to a degree. We can't feel we're calloused. Every little button that you might want to push on your twin, those buttons are like clogged little chakras that are getting cleared. And please cut your twin some slack. I said this before. Allow your twin their part of the process. You've had your awakening, and some of you had some pretty wild awakenings. I remember when I had gone to a place near my house to see a film, and I met a woman. She had such an awakening that she believed she could walk off a building. And her family actually prevented that. But she had to spend some time um, in a hospital till she could balance out. There was a, a chemical imbalance as things started opening on her. And those rushes go through your central nervous system. They will um, wreak some havoc if you don't have ways to ground. And yeah, the medical community has sometimes been at a loss as to what to do with it, how to cope with it. That's where a lot of you come in. That's where a lot of you twin flames who have gotten yourself, you are the healers, not just healing the wounded warriors, you're healing the healed healers, or you're helping to heal the healers, and getting your, getting your twin and becoming lovers again. These two are intended to be lovers. You're intended to be lovers and living with each other. So, getting to the high heart intelligence, that's where it is. 
Do you have a wounded angel in your union? Or are you the wounded angel? Your wounds are going to be healed miraculously. Now, why don't you just bring this back because this timeline here, a lot of people say, oh, these timelines, these timelines. Stop scoffing at it, please, because I do know what's been going on. And I do know that there's people who have come through the portal. I mean, I wish I could give you a list. I've been checking my list and, you know, looking my list and checking it twice. I'm not in charge of that. You are. I'm not the... I'm not the one who is um, going to um, say yay or nay. Who I am, I am exactly who I say I am. To thine own self be true. If you are a twin flame, be the twin flame angelic that you are. Be your own angel. You've been someone else's angel. Be your twin flame's angel and expect that they are your angel also because they are. You two are angelics. You're also human angelics, and that's a challenge of living in two places, having a foot in two worlds, being in two realms, and it can be a lot of fun. A lot of people are starting to have a lot of magical things happen, and it's always going to be that way for Twin Flames because the universe forms itself around you and not the other way around. So... If there's changes coming up in your life, because like I say, this is a determined transition. Please trust and allow the changes. The, the shaking of the foundations is happening for a reason. It do, it's not there to throw you off or make you feel abandoned. It's there to support the changes that are appropriate for you. For some people, yeah, that's still going to be the same things I've talked about. A geographical move, a move out of a house, a house goes for sale. It may be a job, a career, a new endeavor that you're starting. It may be meeting your twin again or for the first time ever. It can be a healing that occurs miraculously. And yeah, you continue on living to be together. So, the transition from August 2013, October 2013, which was really a bumpy ride. A lot of people complained about it. And August of 2014, okay? Now, one other thing about the serious energies. This serious or Syrian energies... We are throwing out the old masculine mentality of how do we get things done? How do we get things fixed or healed? Or, you know, maybe if it ain't broken, we don't fix it at all. And a lot of that's getting thrown out. This is going to be health, education, welfare, social uh, structure, um, improvements and changes, innovations and in things. And you're going to see changes um, here in the United States. We have a big election. A lot of people have uh, really been surprised at all of the things that are coming out. There are people publicly expressing things that other people think. So well, by hook or by crook, it's all coming out of the woodwork. But the higher, the higher consciousness is actually coming through. And the good will always use the bad to create more good and improve upon it. There's always room for improvement and new and fun adventures. So, for those of you who have had uh, situations with especially family and friends, please know it's not there to teeter you. Go within and simply ask, what do I do with this situation? You'll know what's appropriate. You may be even testing out your new fight or flight because I'll, I'll give you a hint on the answer. It's not fighting. Please don't fight with people. Be new. Take the high and take the higher road, that means, or the flight. Fly away. So um, in the spirit of this coming weekend, if you're a Blu-ray who's been doing a lot of work, whoo! 
kudos to you. Please have some fun because we're going to be hitting the accelerator again. All right, take care, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much. Bye now.